The Young African Regional Leadership Center East Africa was set up in 2015 as a signature effort to transform and invest in the next generation of African leaders. Participants between the ages of 18 and 35 are drawn from 14 different countries in East and Central Africa. The center has become a regional hub for transformative learning and enhanced leadership experience. We have over 3,000 alumni having graduated from the center distributed across all 14 countries and we have great transformational stories. The process of training itself was very unique. For the whole period that I was in Yale, nobody had given a wrong answer to an instructor. And that was very mind-opening, you know? Just the fact that you're in a space where what you say will be hard, it was liberating. Before Yali, when I was doing still an IT de uh, development, software development, I thought the good product was made when I was focusing on my room, coding and delivering. But in 99%, all of those products failed. But with Yali, design thinking has helped me a lot. For me, Yali was a session of self-discovery, learning who I am, what do I stand for, what do I envision for myself, where do I see myself in the next 20 to 30 years? Will I be a person of influence or will, just, will I just be like any other person, the ordinary person? And I chose that I was going to be a different person, a person who creates impact and a person who influences the societies where I work. The work that we do is actually being seen and even motivating some young people to want to work with us. We are so grateful for the transformation because even the government is seeing and late last year, in the year 2018, even the president of Kenya uh, recognized the work that we do and I was awarded the HSC uh, Presidential Award. Now that I'm a better leader and I'm a better person, I was actually uh, able to be part of the pioneering team that started the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Club at the Pan-African University. Through the design thinking class is when I got the idea of addressing a nutrition problem in my community and I founded an organization called Tuleviema. We raise awareness of proper feeding practices in the community through nutrition health talks and also teach young women of reproductive age how to cultivate indigenous vegetables on sacks. When you come as a team, because we believe to be independent is not enough, you need to be an interdependent. Work as a team, share the ideas, and that is what been the core session in Yali. We have achieved this through the three tracks of leadership and empowerment that we carry through, which is business and enterprise, civic leadership, and public management. We also have drawn the participants from a diversity of backgrounds that includes rural, peri-urban, and urban. And we also have women and men. In fact, we have a 50 to 50 uh, ratio of women to men joining the program. And we also have persons living with disability who come to the center. Some of most of the people in the society, they can uh, imagine that a person with disability can do nothing in uh, his life. But as we attend the DRE program, uh, they have good imagination or they have a good mind concerning uh, uh, with persons with disability. As transformed young African leaders, the alumni of the center continue to influence their communities through the initiatives and programs. The future of the center uh, is currently focused on sustainability because our funding can only go so far. We're appealing to more organizations to come hold hands with us because we stand to be counted as a people that are hoping to reap from the demographic dividend of a great number of young people that are going to be living in Africa by 2035 like no other time before in history. Based on the experiences that I got at Yali, I'm able to transform lives and um, being part of the society. My joy is to see someone working in my office and feeling like I got what I wanted. From my experience, I worked as a high school teacher for two years and as a graduate assistant and assistant lecturer for four years at Eritrea Institute of Technology. 
but the way I use it to, for teaching my students was different from what I learned from the facilitators. And uh, uh, during the training at Yali, it was very interactive. The facilitators and the trainees, they were interacting with each other. They were uh, giving ideas, and this is one of the best things that I have learned. And one thing I observed is that no African country which is unique, challenges that we face as a country here in Kenya are the challenges that other young leaders face in other countries. And what is there is giving your best. We are grateful to all our partners for your generous support. Your resources and contributions have gone a long way in transforming the next generation of African leaders. Transforming the African leadership landscape.